All right, folks, Midwest Crappie Man, back with you today. It's April. We got the April Mystery Tackle Box Elite, Bass Elite Box. We got Carter with us today, helping us again. So uh, it was awesome last month. Last month was the first um, of their Elite Series. It came with a hard bait swim bait. Um, it came with a whole bunch of good, good stuff. I was really impressed with the box. The box is $39.99. Um, I'll link it at the end. I'll link last month's video of the first one they sent me. This is the second one. Still unopened. We, we have no idea what's in it, but it was a good box. I'll link it at the end, like I said. So check it out after you check this one out if you haven't already. And uh, go down below right now and uh, subscribe to me and hit the little bell so you get notifications. YouTube's no longer notifying when um, people you subscribe to load, upload videos unless you hit the bell. So go down below, subscribe to me, and hit the bell. Me and Carter's gonna dig into this and see what they sent us here in the April Mystery Tackle Box Elite Bass Box. I wonder what's in it. I wonder what's in it too. It was rocking awesome last month. They had a lot of bass in the last one. Oh, right off the bat. Tons of stuff that's all falling out. Right off the bat. This is that uh, Savage Gear, the same thing that makes that duck. Some, some people made some duck videos, some of them duck baits. And got crazy amount of hits on YouTube. People love that. So maybe we'll make one with this. This is a 3D bat. This is a lure that looks like a bat. And I'm sure, you know, because bat, bats can't get up once they're on the ground. They can't get up on their own. So uh, I'm sure bats actually feed off these things. So isn't that crazy? That's, it's, it's like a bird bait. It's a bat. It's got the two. It's black. It's got the two uh, little wings on each side to... So you can walk it and kick up water, I'm guessing. It's a real hard plastic, real hard, hard plastic and has the two treble hooks with the feathers. Yeah, that is a crazy first bait. We'll get the, watch them hooks. We'll get the, we'll get the dibble or whatever out and tell us what that is worth. That is the 3D bat, red eye, Savage Gear 3D bat, okay. Nineteen twenty dollars they want. What do they say about iCast? iCast 2017 product showcase winner, really. Uh, silhouette. Silhouette's what you're after, you know, on top water stuff like that. A lot of times they don't care about how it looks, so. 20 bucks is kind of good for a bait like that. I think it's kind of crazy, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Lunker Hunt. What are these? Nice little swim baits. Let's check these out. Uh, half ounce, four and a half inch. Three pack of swim baits. It shows you how to rig on the back, so I'm guessing it's a through. You got to rig through, yeah, line through. So you got to rig line through the lip. I'll do. Maybe I need to do a video. So I thought there's a ton of videos on YouTube of how to do that, but uh, you got to do line through and screw for your hook. Big old fat juicy sucker. Big old flat paddle tail. So that thing is gonna make all kinds of. That is a nice swim bait. Lunker Hunt swim bait. Lunker Hunt. Fetch. Is that what these are? Yeah. $6.99. Yep. Lunker Hunt Fetch. $6.99. So we're at $27 bucks with the two. Those are pretty cool swim baits. Daddy, could you buy those from like Bass Pro Shop? Um, Lunker Hunt. Yeah. They would be available at Bass Pro Shop. Some of the stuff is um, unique just to Mystery Tackle Box, but that's not. That's not one of the ones unique just to Mystery um, Tackle Box. All right, a good bait in the spring. I love a jerk bait, and right here we got a Strike Pro, and I think Strike Pro. I think that is unique to Mystery Tackle Box. I don't. I think you can only buy this. I think you can only get it through Mystery Tackle. I think. So we got a Strike Pro Inquisitor. Uh, doesn't give you a color, just a number. Four and five sixteenths inch, uh, nine sixteenths ounce, so about a half ounce. Really pretty jerk bait. Got a green back. Uh, blue and purple, three hook jerk bait. I just super sharp hooks because I just put it through this pretty thick plastic with ease. I'm barely pulled on that thing. But half ounce jerk bait, I love a jerk bait. That reminds me almost of a Lucky Craft pointer with the pointer 110. So, uh, I mean, a mega bass. So that's. That, that's, well, a, that's a really good bait. That, that is a. It is a really good bait. And nice let's see, Strike Pro. Let's see what they want for it. Strike Pro Inquisitor 110 for 948. So 27. So we're about 37 bucks 
with the three baits. I really like that. Ten dollar drip bait. I have a Dad, that sticker looks kind of cool, so how I see it. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a digital jumping. digital bass jumping. Kinda kinda alright. Throw that on the boat or throw that on the one of the boxes here. Alright, next, I see a jig. We'll do the jig next. We got a perfection lure stand up, which I like. I like the the hook to stand up. Perfection lures, five ninety nine football jig. It's peanut butter jelly. Me and Carter like our peanut butter jelly colored jigs. I love those peanut butter jelly ones. They're really cool. Peanut butter jelly half ounce football jig. Green pumpkin delicious head on it. I love football. <laughs> Powder coated head. So we got peanut butter jelly. Let's see, it's got the two little. So not only is there a flat spot in it, but then it's got the two little, if you can see there, there's two little stiff wires with balls on them that ha make that thing stand up on the bottom. So your hook's at a 45 degree angle. Cause see bass feed up a lot, but not when you're jig fishing or something like this. When that's on the bottom, that bass is gonna come down and whoop, and you want that hook at a 45 degree angle. My buddy showed me a jig this week that the hook swivels on it. And I'm, I told him, I said, man, I don't like that. The, the hook swivels down and it was a, it was a a bottom jig, it wasn't a swim jig. So the hook swivels down. I want, my, I want my hook to stand up like that. Long story short. So peanut butter jelly, love that color, love it in the spring. I love those things. Yeah. And I also like football, how it's called football. <laughs> yeah, because it looks like a football. See the head? Oh yeah, it looks the like a football. The weight shaped like a football. So, yeah. $6 jig. So cool, we, we still got a bunch of baits in here. So it looks like a couple hard baits and we'll, we'll do the two hard baits last and we'll, get, we'll do the soft baits. So we got missile baits, tomahawk baits, green pumpkin watermelon is the color, quantity six. Nope. It's a creature style bait. So uh, check it out here. It's like a worm creature mix. So it's like a uh, ribbon tail worm, but uh, two of them. So it's like a, I don't know, kind of a mix between a creature bait and a ribbon tail worm. So it's pretty cool. Woo! Thing has an anise smell to it. It's real, real, real anise smell to it. Real stinky. Daddy, didn't you get those in one of your other mystery taco boxes? Nope, I've never got these. It shows you the. Never got these before, so I'm excited to check them out. So maybe we'll do that in a video. Eight and three quarter inches long, so almost a nine inch bait. Um, perfect color. You can't beat green pumpkin watermelon. So these are going to be great. And these are. Uh, Four thirty nine, four dollars thirty nine cents for six. All right, we got two more baits left. They look like hard baits. Pretty cool. They are hard baits. Pretty cool looking hard baits. Ima. We'll do the Ima first. I'm a little stick. Ten ninety nine. So this is an eleven dollar bait. It's a top water. I'm a dedicated to fishing. Japanese bait. Um, it's popper. I got one of these in a Lucky Craft. Reminds me a lot of a Lucky Craft, but it's top water little. <coughs> Little chug bait popper, green back, blue, a lot of color to it, rattles, you got that white feather, that's a, I don't know, I don't know if it's my favorite bait, but they're hitting top water, when they're hitting top water, it should be alright, it's an alright bait, so I'm a $10.99, $11, <coughs> 11 popper, popper, that's the Ima, so, man, that's, one, two, three, four, five, seven baits. So that was six baits so far. We'll, we're going to work on our seventh here. The last bait, Evergreen International. Looks like another Japanese company, CR4 crankbait. It's a square bill crankbait. Uh, Sartreuse crankbait with the blue back. I like a Sartreuse crankbait. Blue back Sartreuse is the color they call it. That's kind of funny. Oh, let's see. Evergreen, $14, $15 crankbait, but, but Japanese. So high quality, high definition, good paint. Everything's going to be good. Everything Japanese is good stuff. So let's take it out and look at it. See how heavy it is. Looks like stainless hooks, actually. Yeah, I think they're stainless steel hooks. Got a big old, you can feel it. It's a big old one knocker. Big old one knocker in it, so that thing's gonna get down and 
And here we're about to say it's gonna have a tight wobble and have a hard hit. So bouncing this sucker off rocks, that's gonna be legit. That is gonna be awesome. That is a pretty cool bait. So I like that. I like the Sartreuse color. I like them with the black dot, green back. I like the Sartreuse crankbait. I like a square bill. I like fishing square. But the only thing I changed is this D, change this um, split ring to a D split ring so you don't uh, break your line off if it, because the line tends to find its way to the split in a split ring. Well, don't on a D shaped one. And if it does that, it'll, especially with your fluorocarbon, it'll, cha it'll chafe it off. So, but awesome, awesome blue back, little knocker bait. And as always, even with the pro box, all the boxes, they have the contest. You go on Instagram, hashtag MTB Keeper, you catch you a 14 inch or bigger bass, because it's a bass box with one of these baits. Put it on here, take a picture, you got a chance at winning something. So, you, you can't beat it, it's awesome. Just like this video is awesome. If you haven't seen it, you need to click on it and check it out. If you've seen it, go right here, click on this video, it's awesome too. If you haven't subscribed to me, go right here, subscribe to me. Go down below, hit the bell so you get notifications. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Midwest Crappie Man out.